Greetings my sports to the bone people. Welcome back to the channel. So everybody's favorite format is back. T20. <laughs> T20 cricket is back in the Caribbean. International T20 cricket that is. Now head coach Darren Sami, he spoke with the media and he had a couple of things to say as it relates to what they're looking to achieve in this upcoming series against South Africa. He also spoke about, you know, integrating youngsters into the team so that they can be ready for the next T20 World Cup. So I'm going to take a look at that. Um, also going to talk a little bit about the women's CPL. It actually starts today. Yes, the women's CPL will be up and running later on today. So I'm going to give you some info on that. Also, going to be talking about the teams and a couple of um, senior players that will be turning out. Give a listening ear and let me know what you all think in the comment section. All right. So let us start off with Coach Darren Sami. So Darren Sami, my viewers and subscribers, um, he was speaking with the CWI media. And, you know, he was talking about the players, saying that right now it's a great opportunity for the players to um, regroup, refocus and go at it again after, you know, getting knocked out of the T20 World Cup earlier than they would, they would have liked. Um, you know, Sammy was saying that um, get, getting knocked out at the quarterfinal stage by South Africa you know, is something that they will have to learn from and they will definitely look um, into how they can go about, you know, being more consistent. Um, I mean, they are very consistent, if we're being honest, when it comes out to T20 cricket, but Sammy wants his team to be even more consistent, right? Um, he was also saying that, you know, it's just for the players to understand that um what they have accomplished over the last 14 months it is still there right it is still there but it's just all about building on that building on that and trying to put together a team that teams will be um not even say trembling but teams will definitely not want to face you understand um so he's basically saying that they just need to keep improving even though you know generally speaking they are winning as a T20 unit. They just need to keep on um, winning. I mean, keep on improving. I mean, we, 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 we are winning a lot of series, but, you know, Coach um, Sammy is not really worried about the series. Man wants um, a championship winning team. That is something that he said in the interview that, listen, we are winning series and that's good and well, but the aim is to develop a championship winning team we were able to go and play different teams and, you know, under different circumstances and just win. You know, we might be playing a team like South Africa, New Zealand, Sri Lanka, whoever the team is, you know, or whichever team. We might be playing them in like a three or a four match and, you know, we win three or majority of the games to win the series. And we say, yes, we, we secure a series. But it's about going into a tournament and being able to win games, win games against different opponents and, you know, put together performances that will lead um, to, to a championship. So that is what um, Sammy, Sammy was saying, my viewers and subscribers. Um, as I said earlier, he spoke about, you know, trying to mix in some of the youngsters, trying to integrate them into the squad so that they can learn from some of the current players. You know, he referred to the fact that... Um, when he and people like um, Gail and, you know, Bravo, the, the winning team from 2016, when they were transitioning out, um, quite a few of these guys that are now in, they didn't get a chance to really, um, you know, play with them and start, uh, you know, the transition, you know, to have a smooth transition and things. So, you know, that is something according to some of that they are looking to work on um, with people like Arthur is Shamar Joseph, and a couple of other players coming in, you know, to, to, to work with some of the current um, superstars. People like, you know, the Nicholas Poor and the Rabman Paul and, um, you know, some of these established players. We have Andre Russell 
um, every now and again. You know, so that is what um, Darren Sammy was saying, my viewers and subscribers. But, you know, the main takeaway from what Sammy was saying here is that it's all good and well when they're winning series. They love to win series, but they are looking to develop or to build a championship winning team. So, going into this series against South Africa, the general aim, the aim is to win the series, of course, based on what Coach Sammy is saying. <clears throat> The aim is to win the series, but you know they are looking to improve in um, certain areas. They are looking to improve in certain areas that um, you know they have been looking at as a team. You know, so whether it is minimizing that ball, whether it is trying to control the power play better, you know, whatever it is that they have been looking at, you know, those are some small wins that they will be um, trying to 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 get um, apart from winning the series. So. You know, that was um, Coach Darren Sammy. I, I took this information from the CWI Facebook um, page. The interview is there. So if you want to listen it in, um, in its entirety, you can check it out. Otherwise, I just wanted to say that to give um, CWI their credit for them thing. All right. CPL, women's CPL. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. Um, gets underway later on today. I have a couple of things here as it relates to the format and um, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the teams. Well, uh, it's not a lot of teams. I think there are three teams they have in there. Taking some of the, taking the information here from, I actually have information from ESPN Cricket Info and I have information from another website called cricket.com um, schedule. So, you know, let me just um, do a quick reading here and then I'll talk a little bit. So, um, so it says the third edition of the Women's Premier League is set to begin on August 21st, which is today, right? Wednesday, August 21st. Um, they say with a total of seven matches to be, um, to be played at the Brian Lara uh, Stadium in Trinidad, right? So seven matches, we're going to get seven matches, right? They say a total of 45 players consisting of 12 overseas and 33 domestic talents are part of the week-long um, tournament. They said the final will take place on August 29th with uh, the top two teams qualifying um, for it. Right. So um, just to remind you, uh, Trinibago Knight Riders, they were the inaugural winners um, in 2022. You know, Barbados, they were able to lift the trophy in 2023. So, you know, um, they actually got the better of i think it was guyana amazon warriors in the final so you know the guyana amazon warriors will be looking to see if they can get um a, a trophy under their belt also no this is just a quick um look at some of the top performers so far um our overall now most runs we have Haley matthews 277 of course it's Haley matthews <laughs> um most wickets again of course it's ha um, Haley matthews 12 wickets um right uh highest score 106 um from 64 deliveries that was sophine um divine uh versus barbados royals um women and that was in 2023 so you know they are just giving us some of the the, the overall figures as it relates to what they would have achieved in in in, in a tournament so you know they said best figures we have amanda jade wellington Four for 23 versus Guyana Amazon Warriors in 2023. Highest total, 169 for four. Barbados Royals women versus Guyana Amazon Warriors women. And that was 2023. Um, now, the, the squad, um, let me just give you a couple of the senior players. Quite a few um, unknown names here. Uh, so, you know, a couple of the players here. Um, let me see for the Barbados for the uh yeah for the for the um Haley Matthews Haley Matthews will be captain in this team so the Barbados Royals um they have Haley Matthews they have Chanel Henry they have Fletcher they have um um Jade Wellington and uh, Ale Alain um Ale Alain so you know th those are the the senior players from the West Indies um, team that will be taking part in that squad. All right. So good to see that, you know, the ladies are here. Now, in terms of the Trinibago Knight Riders squad, 
We see Deandra Dottin, who just declared that she is unretired, if you can put it like that, right? Um, Deandra Dottin um, will be playing for Trinibago Knight Riders. Um, Kaisia Knight is also there. Um, Shamila Connell, um, Zeta James, right? So those are the senior um, ladies for that team. Uh, for the Guyana Amazon Warriors now, we have a um, couple of senior players, Stephanie Taylor, you know, we have Natasha McLean, we have Ramarak in there also, Salmon, that's Shakira Salmon, right? So those are the ladies that are expected to lead from the front, you know, so I want to say, I um, want to wish the ladies all the best and we are definitely looking forward to, um, to, to some good uh, cricket, you know, so yeah. We will we will see how things will work out, my viewers and subscribers. And um, I will definitely try my best to keep you all posted as it relates to, uh, you know, this 2024 C, um, Women's CPL. I'm going to leave it right here for now. Hope you all let me know what you think in the comment section. Big up on yourself.